Hey there everybody, it's Tegan here again today. I am in a very new place right now and that is because I am currently in Melbourne. I am here for VidCon Australia, which actually starts today. I've been in Melbourne since Wednesday, but I was just like hanging out with friends and walking around the city and stuff. But today is Friday and today is the first day of VidCon. It goes for Saturday and Sunday as well. It is currently nearly 12 o'clock. I have to be back at the convention center by 4 and then we get to check in and get all of our registration stuff and then they have the opening show tonight and then tomorrow and Sunday are all of the panels and meet and greets and stuff. I am meeting Kean and JC and Hannah Hart tomorrow and then on Sunday I'm meeting Hank Green and All Right Hey so I'm very excited for that. But right now, there is actually a Harry Potter store in Melbourne, which I really, really want to go to. And there's one in Brisbane, but it's like literally three hours away from me. So I decided I would just come to the one in Melbourne, because why not? I'm very excited for that, and I will keep you guys updated. So I'm about to walk over to the convention center now. I'm about to get my VidCon lanyard, like laminate and stuff, which is very, very exciting because that means that it's actually happening and I've been looking forward to this since last year. I'm wearing my Nerdfighter shirt because Hank and John are great and I'm going to be seeing Hank and oh, I'm meeting him and I'm just like, there it is. completely been registered. There's still a huge lineup of people all lining up to register themselves. I've got my community badge, which I still have to write my name and everything on. I've got these. And I've got my meet and greet wristband, which will give me access to all of the meet and greets. Now I'm kind of just gonna be hanging around until the opening show happens because that is happening soon. I'm excited. Amy. We've just like figured out like where to go for the opening show. There's like, yeah, shh. there's like two different sides, but everybody's lining up like on the other side. So there's like so many people on the other side where you go down into the hall, but then there's like literally nobody over on this side. It is 521 and we go in at 630? 630. 6.30? 6.30. So we've got like just over an hour mm -hmm. until we go in and then it's the beginning of Big Con. We <laughs> We are in the front row for the opening show. show. I ran into my friend Brittany. She flew from Adelaide. Adelaide represents. <laughs> we are very, very, very excited. But this counts the stories that go untold Which make me realize that there's so much in this world I'll never know Never have I ever left food in my locker accidentally till it got moldy Yeah I'm a lot of really you guys are lucky show of VidCon, <laughs> which means that VidCon 
one is a fish. <laughs> come the anchor, come. Come the anchor, come. <laughs> Beautiful. What's up, guys? Yeah. <laughs> VidCon has officially started. It has. Woo! It's up here. Tomorrow's going to be great. Tomorrow is going to be very good. Panel start tomorrow. Meet and greet start tomorrow. Do you swear on your vlogs? You can swear. Tomorrow, and I'll just keep it PG. Tomorrow's going to be freaking amazing. Oh, tomorrow's going to be fucking amazing. <laughs> We're all meeting Keen and JC tomorrow. Keen and JC, you better watch this vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Which is going to be like... Oh my god. Beyond excited. We're beyond, we're, oh. We are beyond exactly. excited. But yeah, I will talk to you guys more tomorrow. It's currently just before 9 a.m. and I have just arrived at the convention center. My first panel that I want to go to today starts at 10. I wanted to go and check out the expo hall because that's where all of the like merch places and all of the setup and everything is. So. I'm excited to check that out. It was really cool last year. So I'm excited to see what it is. The first panel I want to go to today is Sophia Nygaard and Tyler. So I'm really excited for that. And I will talk to you guys in a little bit. What's the funniest story you have about Krusty? There's a recent one. I feel like it, it, oh. it, it reveals us <laughs> being bad cat parents. Yeah, so we get this like cat subscription box called Meow Box. Do you guys watch Jenna Marbles? Yeah. Yes. Do you guys know the thing that Kermit does with soap? Yeah. Yes. That, like, like, like puts his head on him like this. Krusty started doing that with the box. We were just like rubbing the side of his head against it, like sticking his nose in it, and like just like disappearing inside of this box. And he was just like very eventually scooting the box like closer and closer to the edge of the table. He's in the box at this point. And we're like and I'm, destroying like, it because we think it's like really it. funny. Because we're like, oh, this is this is cute, like cat. This is good content. Yeah. And I was just like in story and I was like, hmm, maybe he'll fall off. And he just like did like one grand push and did like a backflip <laughs> off of the table. And then he landed on his feet, obviously, but he was just like so embarrassed. He like did a backflip off and he went <laughs> and then he ran away. <laughs> it was like a pretty like aggressive fall too, so we actually just like didn't upload the Insta story post. Like, like, okay. I feel like it looks like he hurt himself, but he was fine. He was his ego was bruised. I just got out of Sophia and Tyler's panel and I met them and it was great. And I'm here with Dana. Hi! <laughs> And we are walking over to Gabby's panel right now. It's got a press pass. A press pass. Now the best part is, um, so I'm a photographer, right? I was like, I'm a photographer. And like put my name on the little doofliki and like was like, send me damn for shoots. It's on the wall at VidCon, so like, if I don't get some followers from the shit, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> like Gabby is a real human and I'm like. She is. Is she? She is. And she's gonna be performing tomorrow. And you're gonna I get to hear it. You're gonna get to hear it live. I'm so excited. She doesn't sing out loud in satellite as well. I'm gonna like riot. But I know all the words to her, um, her like rap. So really? Like, roast yourself rap and then like the really serious bit at the end, I know all of it. And I'm like, I need to like demonstrate, I'm like, I need like 10 minutes with this girl to like sing it with her because like, yes. So Gabby, thanks for joining us at VidCon Australia. Thank you, I'm so happy to be here. But with Honestly, it was a completely different song with a, a completely different meaning. But the original track was, also, was actually like, Honestly, I've been thinking constantly. That was gonna be a song that was like, Honestly, I love you, but that I also wrote Encore. Encore came first, so that was the cross my heart when you to touch, and it always came to me in that too. It's globalization. Like I can meet somebody who lives in Australia who I would have never met, and we have everything in common, and I can build a really cool relationship that I would have never experienced. Like I didn't, I didn't really have any friends that I was like super, super close with when I started buying, and that's why I. I kept going is because I found these people on Vine who had very similar interests to me. Online friends are like streaming a movie. You don't have a physical copy, but the content's the same.
attitudes right now, honestly, is so freaking great. So please do. We love support for Frank Rose, don't we? Yeah. Oh, look at us. And they're like, you have a website? It's 1996. People don't have websites. Website. <laughs> like I don't even think about it anymore. The hardest part of my career is getting sucked into the, the like men's rights culture war for a little bit. It was it's really rough in there. I guess trying to balance and separating myself from what I do, just kind of enjoying things outside of it, finding in whatever you do, if you don't do whatever you do in life, just finding things that you can separate from your your work that you enjoy and you Find somebody tweeted something about like YouTubers wanting to be singers and she was like, and somebody was like, except Gabby, she's great. And this girl responded, she's like, no, she's not, she sucks, she's never on key, like whatever. And I responded and I was like, actually, I'm a really good singer. Like singing live is a completely different skill set that I haven't trained for. And once you go, but like it was so dumb. And then I looked back at it and I was like, I've been doing music for a year and I've never taken a fucking vocal lesson. Why am I responding to this troll when they're right? And then I started taking vocal lessons. Just trying to let our audience reflect the negative. This is like reflecting every negative comment that I get. Um, yeah, just like at the end of the day. Just be yourself, because um, it's really obvious when you're not. And if you want to do something, I get a lot of messages that are like, I want to do this on my channel. Do it, babe. That's what I do. Look where I am. That could be you if you want to do that. So. Just be yourself and reflect the haters. Okay, we Ooh, that have had a very eventful day today. Yeah! So we met Keen and JC, right? Like, full on met them. We got to spend like- They a... hugged me. They both hugged me. We got to spend like a full on minute. Like, it wasn't just like in photo out. Like, we got to like talk to them. It was fantastic. So they are so sweet. And then, just, you know, randomly. Just randomly. Just, just randomly we met Casper Lee. Casper Lee! Sorry, what? I'm still like very, very. I don't even know how we did that. Very <laughs> shook about that. Like we met. We met. Casper Lee. Who? So who? Ca who? Who? <laughs> who? Who? I just got out of. There was a panel that was like Gabby, Matt, and a few other people. <laughs> And now we're heading to our last meet and greet for the day of the day, which has already started. But but we're gonna be late. I'm meeting Hannah Hart, and you're meeting Christian Hall. Christian Hall and Tanya Hennessy. Yeah. Today has been a very eventful and good and fun day. Fun. It's been great. It is day Sunday morning. Two point five. Oh. <laughs> day three. Day two point five of the con. <laughs> The last day. It is the, the last day, day of VidCon. It is a sad day, unfortunately. Yeah. VidCon ends today, but it's gonna be a fun day. Yes. We want a drink bottle. Yeah. A really cool drink bottle. Because we were the first 50 people in line for the merch drop this morning, and we also got some stickers. Yes. And we filled so. out some of the things that are in this to get um, to raffle, entry. raffle entries to win stuff. I don't even know what we win. You could win a signed copy of Hank's book. Oh, I could win a signed copy of Hank's book. I think. Well I then, <laughs> that's exciting. Today is a bit of a, gonna be a bit of a tricky day. We've got a panel right now that Grace Helbig and a few other people are. Yeah. It's like a comedy one. And then we're going to half of Casper Lee's panel. And then we're going to go to- Matt, all right, um, hey. Meet, all right, hey. Hopefully get out of there in time so that we can go K and, and see yeah, K and J, Kian and JC in their panel. And then we're gonna go to the raffle. And then we'll go to and the raffle. And then we have a meet and greet with Hank. Which is very exciting. I'm wearing my Pizza John shirt today. And then we've got the closing, the closing show. Yet. But yeah. It's a hard day. We already said that. <laughs> Today's gonna be interesting. <laughs> yeah, there's like pumpkin pie. You with the little like grocery things. Yeah, you oh, I thought this was candy. I was like, this is what washes dishes, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to do the first sort of live show to make it doable I'm saying I'm just gonna do my podcast on the stage come and watch it not that this oh yeah you have to come so I treat every single one of my hosting things as a little like a new stand up whether people like it or not <laughs> do the Melbourne yeah. Comedy Festival I know that's intimidating it is so that's scary I know <laughs> it's like it's like everyone made it through that festival <laughs> You survived! Yeah. It was me, Epic Lloyd uh, from Epic Rap Battles, and Shane Dawson, and someone else that I can't remember, but it was in a room with maybe 10 people, like at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and it was just the saddest thing ever. And I was like, is the internet important? You know, oh my god, we call it Destiny's Children. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a dad 
joke! Oh! oh I got lots of dad jokes. But I thought you meant like a joke about a dad. Knock knock. Who's there? Me. Me who? Meow. Okay, here we go. fun to work with your best friend and I think it became almost even better we were living together and that was great and that was fine but when we started to work to work together once we had like some space as well it became like oh we, you really appreciate someone do you know what I mean? Is Australia like a nice place to live? Like, yeah. I'm really thinking about retiring I can sing I can sing I shouldn't sing I get uh, uh, <laughs> You're opera with me That's pretty good I have a good Whatever that's called. Dry as a dead dingo's donor. <laughs> and it's dry, right? It just means it's dry. This is it, yeah. It's dry than it. This is a leaner. Not leaner. Donner? Donner. That's leaner, bro. <laughs> Get to see their creators or get like inspiration and blah blah blah. But like, you can also meet other people. You know what I mean? Like I'm sure has anyone met here this weekend that are like friends now? Like Keen and I, we met and we were friends maybe like a year or so before we actually met in person. So I think that's like the good thing we can take away from the internet. No. <laughs> Handcuff challenge, absolutely not. Yoga was fun. <laughs> it was fun. It was so funny. Do you guys see yourselves kind of creating content forever together? So we're <laughs> yeah. So we're 95. <laughs> Still be doing the mousetrap challenge. <laughs> <laughs> So we just got into the room for the closing show. We had a little bit of a disaster. A little bit of a disaster. A big disaster. Yeah. We were meant to meet Hank Green today. But we were meant to. We read the 14.30 as 4 o'clock instead of 2.30. So what was that for? We rocked up at 4 and it was meant to be at 2. And they wouldn't let us in even though Hank was still meeting people. And it had and like a lot massive. Yeah. She wouldn't let us in to meet him, which kind of sucks because that's what I was really, really, really looking yeah. forward to. But, but we've cried it out. <laughs> Not really much we can do anymore. And we are in here for the closing show. We're like, I mean, we can see, see the stage pretty well. Yeah, we have a good seat. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I think we got pretty good seat. More excuses because if this phone is not a drum, oh wait. It is currently Monday morning. VidCon is officially over and done with. 
which is really sad because I love VidCon so much. Last year was so incredible. This year was even more incredible. I just had the absolute best time, but they have said that it is definitely coming back for a third year. It's definitely coming back in 2019, which is very exciting. And I will definitely be going in 2019 because I love VidCon so much. In the last clip that you would have seen of me talking, you would have seen me talking about how we missed out on our meet and greet with Hank, but I ended up meeting him anyways. We saw him at the hotel because we went back to their hotel after the closing show and we hung around a little bit and Hank ended up coming in and we got to meet him anyways. Like I literally met pretty much everybody that I could have ever wanted to meet at VidCon this year except for Liza and Kristen. I obviously met Kian and JC in their meet and greet and then I also got the chance to meet Kian outside of the hotel on Saturday night and then I got the chance to meet both Kian and JC in the hotel last night which was absolutely incredible. And then I also obviously had Hannah's meet and greet, Hannah Hart's meet and greet. And then Saturday night, I also got the chance to meet Ella, um, who's Hannah's girlfriend, but she also has a YouTube channel and I love her a lot. I met Alan, I met Gabby Hanna, which is absolutely insane for me to say because I've been watching Gabby for so long. On YouTube and I love her so much. I met Casper Lee. Um, I ended up meeting him twice. I met him after one of his panels and then I also met him at the hotel last night and he's so sweet. He's honestly such a sweetheart. I met All Right Hey or Matt. I had his meet and greet yesterday and then I met him outside of his hotel a few times. He just came over and had a few chats with us. He was really, really nice. Same thing with Christian Hole. He just came over and literally talked to us for like 20 minutes. He gave us chocolate. He was like, here, you guys can share this amongst yourselves. And um, he gave one that he had bought a uh, big donut pillow thing for his meet and greet. And he just gave it to one of the girls that we were waiting with at the hotel. So that was very nice of him. He's a very nice guy. We talked to him for a while and I met Sophia and Tyler twice. I met them after their panel on Saturday and then I met them just out in the street yesterday which was really really cool. We just walked past them. I was like oh my god that's Sophia and Tyler. I met Alex Wasabi. I met Grace Helbig twice. I met her after her panel and then I also uh, met her last night and she was also really really sweet and I honestly think that's it. I got them all to sign my lanyard. That's JC's, that's Hank Green's, that's Tyler Williams, Casper Lee, and then Kian's. That's All Right Hayes, that's Allen's, uh, that's Hannah Hart's, and then that's Christian Hall's. I didn't get absolutely everybody that I met to sign it, but I got quite a few of them to sign it which is really really cool because last year i literally only met the people that i had meet and greets for so i literally only met jen and hank last year which i mean was absolutely incredible oh i also met the odd ones out i didn't get a photo with him because i'm not I, I don't really watch any of his videos but my brother absolutely loves him and i got my brother a video message from him because he was just hanging around the hotel last night but yeah i like pretty much met the entire lineup which is so crazy to me like, I did not, I was not expecting that going into this weekend. Like, this weekend was so insane. I got so lucky. I just had the absolute best time, and I cannot wait for next year. I know that next year is going to be absolutely insane. I'm still in Melbourne for another two days, but I'm just gonna end this here because VidCon is unfortunately over. I don't want it to be over, but it is. I hope if you guys went to VidCon, whether it was the Australian one or the European one coming up or the American one. I hope that you guys all had the absolute time of your lives because I definitely did and yeah That's gonna be about it for this video. I'm Tegan. This is Bookwormia and I will see you guys next time. Bye